Have you ever tried painting with sponges before? Well, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you exactly why sponges need to be in your basic tool for art coming up. Hi again there guys, Emma here from Paint and Pino, giving you some top tips for all things art and design. And today we're talking all about sponges. If you watch my videos often, you'll know that I'm a massive fan of using sponges. They're really helpful for many, many techniques. And I'm gonna show you the top four reasons why you should be using sponges in your art. So let's have a look. Number one, blending. These things are fantastic for doing a really fast blend, whether you're doing this with like a sunset, um, or maybe even just with an ocean. I did a video recently where I actually recreated a sunset just simply using a sponge, and they are just brilliant for actually blending colors together. The other thing that you can do as well, guys, is if you actually load up the paint onto the sponge itself, because they're usually a little bit damp because they hold the moisture, they're really easy for actually blending things like water reflections as well. And the great thing is you're not just doing the whole flat design, you can actually use the edge so you can get a little bit more fine detail as well. So if you're doing things like a moon reflection or a sunset reflection, these things are brilliant for getting that really straight line. Number two, angles. Believe it or not, you can actually use an actual angle of these things to really get some sharp edges. So if you're doing a painting like a mountain, for example, um, you really do get that really simple sharp edge, almost like you would if you were using a palette knife. So again, on a recent video that I've done, you can see where I've done simply the actual outline of the mountain, but just using those natural edges of the sponge. And again, if you're somebody that worries about doing fine detail, or maybe you lose that really hard edge when you're using like a fine detail brush, these things are fantastic because you get that lovely focal point with the sponge. Top tip number three, Distribution is key. So if you're wanting to do something like simply just priming your canvas, or if you wanna do something on a much larger scale, then this is a big jumbo carb uh, sponge that I've got recently, and they are just fantastic. So again, on a recent video, I've done this huge, great big wall mural of a Bob Ross landscape, and this came in essential when it came to actually blending some of the colors together. But if you don't want to go onto a big scale like a wall painting, guys, just simply going onto a canvas and just distributing that color really quickly. Or if you're going with a larger canvas, then these things are fantastic for doing what you would basically spend 10 times longer using a brush for. And finally, top tip number four is texture. Probably the most important element in terms of how you can generate really effective techniques using sponges. There are textures that you just can't possibly achieve using a brush when you use these things here. So again, for example, let's say skin tone. If you wanna do that gorgeous stippling effect where you get a very natural looking skin quality or a skin texture, then sponges are brilliant for that. So again, on a recent video I've done where I've actually used a portrait of Jon Snow, this became actually the key element to bringing the whole portrait together because it took away those harsh lines of the skin. You can also use them for make, maybe uh, like a softer painting. So for example, if you're doing a nice landscape like this beautiful 
moon forest scape where I'm trying to really just blend the colors very subtly together to give like a misty murky effect. Then of course the sponge came in really handy there too. So question of the day, have you ever tried using a sponge? If you have, I'd love to hear from you guys. Just leave a comment down below. If not, is there something that you use that's not necessarily a, a traditional paintbrush that really helps you to improve your art? If you have enjoyed today's video guys, then do hit that subscription and like button just below as it really does help our channel. And of course, if you'd like to see some more top tips just like this one, then do hit that notification bell just below as it tells you when we're coming online next time. Alrighty guys, we'll see you next time. Happy painting.